Good morning, everybody. Today, I have something serious to talk about. That's why we're using the serious face. And also why I'm wearing this pink thing. I guess it's not gonna be too serious, but it is a serious topic. All right, Jerry, ring the stats. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is obvious, but lately my YouTube stats have been seriously declining. Views, 190. 60 less than usual. Subscribers, four less. Four unsubscribed. That's this month's progress, it's backwards. It's backwards progress. And you know what? That's what this video is about. Cause if we were just making no progress, that would be one thing. But the fact that I'm actually making backwards progress, that I'm actually going back and like losing everything means that I'm doing something wrong. And when I'm doing something wrong, that means it's time to fix it. So to start, I asked myself, what kind of a YouTuber am I, anyway? I know I really liked doing art time lapses, those were really fun. But I'm not sure I'd have time to do that all the time, and I honestly don't know if that's something I feel like I could do for years and years, or for the rest of my YouTube channel's lifespan. And then we had these, these good old-fashioned lifestyle help tips. But these were so much work to plan, and not a lot of fun to execute. Then I did these funny little sketches for a while, and that was really enjoyable, but I didn't always have consistent ideas. Finding funny concepts is honestly kind of hard. And then we had these reading vlogs. These were a lot of fun. The problem was that I don't always have time to read, probably even less so when I go to college. Then there was this, this solitary single cooking video. That turned out well. There were at least three people who commented that this was not a real crepe. Thanks guys. Then I did some vlogs, and I think I had probably the most fun with the vlogs. But the problem is that it's such a high competition niche. And they're also some of my least viewed videos on the channel. And then there was fashion design. I loved fashion design. I still do. But could I do it every week? You see my dilemma here? But at least there is one thing that we know. And that thing is that I am 100% definitely not a fitness YouTuber. No, wait, what's this? The stepmother. We're definitely going to have to niche down. There is no doubt in my mind about that. The question is where and how. I know that I have to because if we niche down into one topic, YouTube can identify a much better audience for me and promote it a whole lot more. And not only that, you guys can know what you're getting each week instead of getting like smacked with something completely random. So like, I'm gonna make a list of everything that I enjoy doing on my channel. So the first thing I want to do when looking at this list here is looking at the things that are sustainable. As in, can I do this feasibly every week? So this is round one of the niching games. Now here comes the hard part. What can I do that would have a chance of succeeding? Lifestyle? It's hard. Lifestyle is for people who have it all together, something I just don't. Video essays and movie commentary. The thing about this is that I could actually see myself doing this. The trick is how would I stand out. Vlogs. I love vlogs. If I had to choose one thing to do, if I got Scott paid to do like literally anything, it would probably be vlogging. The problem is that a lot of other vloggers have a lot more equipment than I do. I don't have a camera, I don't have a microphone, I literally just have this little iPhone here that I record on. I'm not a particularly like aesthetic kind of person either too, you know? And I feel like that's what a lot of vlogs are today. Sketches. Sketches are fun, but coming up with stuff is so hard. So I think we can cross off lifestyle and self-help. So there are now three competitors left in the niching games. Vlogs, video essays, movie commentary, and sketches. Who will win? Who will win the niching games? I like, I can't choose. I actually can't. It feels so permanent, you know? And permanence is kind of not, not my thing. So I guess we're gonna go with my basic life philosophy. I'm gonna choose something random and we're gonna jump in and we're gonna do that thing. Lifestyle vlogs it is. Anyway, yeah, now here is the fun part. Prepping our channel. <laughs> I want to do is I want to identify my audience of sorts. I think when I think about it, who I'm mostly vlogging for are teenagers who maybe want like a bit of spice or adventure in their life. Are you ready to see my audience? This is Janice. Janice likes self-improvement. She likes like the cinematography aspect of vlogs and stuff. She views her life as a movie and likes feeling impressed. This is Johanna. Johanna enjoys doing new things is always looking for ideas, and enjoys feeling inspired. This is Amelia, she likes relaxing, she's a little quieter than Janice and Johanna, and she likes feeling accepted too. And this is Bob, the blob. Bob is a, a blob, he's blobby. He likes blob snacks. I think blob is the real audience here. Anyway, with that in mind, it's time to get started. I'm going to 
redo the profile pic, I'm gonna redo the channel banner, maybe even my ending card. Yeah, we're gonna like, we're gonna go full haul here. I meant it when I said I wanted to radically change my channel. Just made my profile picture a little more bright, a little more YouTuber-y. That's it, that's basically all I did. I feel like I have a good profile picture. So I just kind of brightened the background to the point where it more has a more pop to it. I made this, but I'm not so sure I like it. So I'm probably gonna make a couple other options for the channel art too. Then I made this, and then I made this. But honestly, I felt like my identified audience would like this one the best, so that's what I decided to go with. There we go, look at that. Isn't that pretty and professional? Yeah, we have a new banner, we have a new channel, and we have a new purpose. So now we have the hard part. We've done the remodeling, I did find the audience. I even have some video ideas. But now this is the hard part. This is where the rubber meets the road, where we really get stuff done, where we do like all sorts of different new signs of things. This is the part where I come up with new video ideas, where I actually film those video ideas, and probably most importantly, where we kind of wait, where we wait. There's nothing left to do now, but make the best videos that we possibly can, hope this new direction is successful and or fun, and succeed and wait, yeah. So it could take months, it could take years, but I'm excited about the direction I've decided to go with this channel, and I hope you are too. Anyway, I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time, and until then, have a wonderful week. Peace.